What is a Spearman correlation? Spearman's rank correlation examines the relationship between two variables. Isn't that exactly what the Pearson correlation does? That's right, the Spearman rank correlation is the non parametric counterpart of the Pearson correlation. But there is an important difference between both correlation coefficients. Spearman correlation does not use the raw data, but the ranks of the data. Let's look at this with an example. We measure the reaction time of 8 computer players and ask their age. The reaction time is already sorted by size. 12 is the smallest value, so gets rank 1, 15 the second smallest, so gets rank 2, and so on and so forth. We are now doing the same with age. Here we have the smallest value, there the second smallest value, the third smallest value, fourth smallest, and so on and so forth. Let's take a look at this in a scatter plot. Here we see the raw data of age and reaction time. But now we would like to use the rankings. So we form ranks from the variables age and reaction time. To calculate Spearman correlation now, we simply calculate the Pearson correlation from the ranks. So the Spearman correlation is equal to the Pearson correlation, only that the ranks are used instead of the raw values. If there are no rank ties, we can also use this equation to calculate the Spearman correlation. N is the number of cases and D is the difference in ranks between the two variables. Referring to our example, we get the different Ds with this. 1 minus 1, which is 0, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, and so on. Now we square the individual Ds and add them all up. So the sum of Di squared is 8. Just like the Pearson correlation coefficient r, the Spearman correlation coefficient rs also varies between minus 1 and 1. With the help of the coefficient, we can now determine two things. How strong the correlation is? in which direction the correlation goes. The strength of the correlation can be read in a table. If we have a coefficient between minus 1 and less than 0, there is a negative correlation, thus a negative relationship between the variables. If we have a coefficient between greater than 0 and 1, there is a positive correlation, that is, a positive relationship between the two variables. If the result is 0, we have no correlation.